And thanks for inviting us in. We begin tonight at five with the breaking news we've been waiting for for about a year. The CDC today said you don't have to wear one of these masks if you are fully vaccinated. No, Huge. if you're fully vaccinated, you can take this mask and set it aside. And that doesn't matter whether you're inside, outside, or even in a crowd. You know, with this mandate now from the CDC, we can all agree this is a really big step toward getting back to life as we once knew it before the pandemic. Yeah, that's right. Huge news today. So what has changed? The CDC looked at three different studies around the world. The science shows the vaccine is working. Keep in mind, this is for fully vaccinated people. What's that? Well, that's someone who is two weeks past their second dose of the Pfizer or Moderna vaccine or their single dose of Johnson & Johnson. The CDC did stress there are times when it might be good for you to break out a mask. In fact, they said that you should still wear one when taking public transportation. So we're talking about a bus or a plane or if you go to a hospital, a prison, or homeless shelter. But the CDC was not clear about why they think you still need a mask in those different situations. But things are going to look a lot different. Yeah. In fact, we just were looking at this presser about an hour ago. President Biden addressing the country, expressing his excitement for this day in the news. And the president came out not wearing a mask to the news conference, thanking Americans for getting vaccinated, bringing us to this point. You know, some people said, we couldn't do this, that it would not be until the fall that we had this many people vaccinated. That 2021 might be a lost year for our country, as 2020 was. But we proved the doubters wrong. The U.S. also took another big step today toward herd immunity. That's because our children as young as 12 years old can now go get a COVID-19 shot. Yeah, in fact, you can go ahead and scan that QR code there that you see at the bottom hand of your screen to learn how to sign your kids up for the vaccine. And while you do that, let's take a break and check in with Mary Mills. She went today to IU Health's Riley Hospital for Children for a look at how this first day of vaccination for kids is going. The first day for 12 to 15 year olds slow here at Riley, at least early on and predictably slow with most kids still in school. But 14 year old Tan Pointer and his mom showed up right after classes. Tan, an eighth grader at St. Richard's School, more than ready to roll up his sleeve and get his first shot. For Tan and his family, it means a big step getting back to normal, doing all the things he missed out on over the last 14 months. Uh, there are many competitions that I just haven't been able to go to because I want to, oh, my family wants to remain safe and socially distant from others. So in crowded areas, uh, um, say like chess competitions in crowded areas, and if everyone gets this vaccine, then that can just increase the chance that COVID will go away and that we'll all be safe. And Tan returns for his second shot here in three weeks. And again, this clinic and others most likely to see the most kids coming for shots after school and on weekends. That's right. Thanks so much, Mary. Now, doctors all across this country want to make sure that our kids are caught up with some of their other vaccines and shots as well. And that's why the American Academy of Pediatrics said today it's OK to get their normal childhood vaccines together with the COVID shot and reaction beginning to pour in tonight about this new CDC guidance. The president of the American Federation of Teachers all calling for schools to return to in-person learning in the fall. She says the availability of vaccines and federal education money have removed obstacles that kept schools from returning to the classroom. More than half of K through eight schools across the country already are back in in-person learning. And we're getting advice tonight from two central Indiana COVID-19 vaccine patients after they were given the wrong COVID vaccine. They talked today with our Steve Jefferson, who also checked with Indiana's largest health care system about the safety measures now in place at mass vaccine sites. When vaccine candidates arrive here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, they're given a letter indicating which vaccine. But one patient says that didn't stop a nurse here from making a huge mistake. And they asked me which shot I wanted and I told them Pfizer. Um, they gave me a red letter P to put in my windshield. Brittany Arnett shared her April 29th experience at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway for her COVID-19 vaccine. She's one of the tens of thousands of people taking advantage of the convenient vaccination drive through Her shot was given by an IU health nurse. She asked me which arm I wanted the shot in, and she gave it to me in my left arm. But it's what happened after the shot that concerned Brittany. 
and when she came back with the band-aid, she said, I have to tell you something. And she said, I gave you the wrong shot. I gave you Johnson & Johnson. Brittany says a supervisor tried to comfort her about the mistake, but due to her health challenges, she's worried about the blood clot-related deaths the CDC links to Johnson & Johnson. There was only 15 people in the world that have died from Johnson & Johnson. It's like seeing a unicorn. This is what I was told. Um, I said I didn't want to be number 16 to see a unicorn. In Brittany's case, I have um, ulcerative colitis, so it's a chronic illness. IU Health released this statement saying it has a safety system that identifies which vaccine a patient receives and that patients given the wrong vaccine are notified for questions about their dosage. I don't know where the mistake happened. In a different case, a Wayne County healthcare worker gave 17-year-old Darian Smith the wrong vaccine. Darian wanted vaccinated so he could spend more time with his grandmother. I ended up receiving Moderna, and I was supposed to get the visor. Ask questions, make sure you're getting the right one. Brittany says even with the corrections in place, she hopes she's the only one to get the wrong vaccine. Well, that is her hope, but we do want to let you know that this isn't the only place where someone has gotten the wrong vaccine. This has happened across the country. In fact, that story today was from Indiana, but our North Carolina sister station recently reported on a 16 year old who was given the J and J vaccine when he was supposed to be given Moderna. We, when he was supposed to be given Pfizer, rather. So we want to know, what can you do to make sure that this doesn't happen to you? First of all, don't be afraid to ask questions. The vaccine is going to go into your body, and you have a right to know about what they're about to inject you with. Ask to see the vaccine vial so you can double check which one you're going to get. Also, if this happens to be your second dose, show them their, your vaccination card. Make sure that your information matches up with theirs and that you're getting the same vaccine that you got the first time.